Hi. Okay, we're going to do something a little bit different. I am going to make an embossing folder folder. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a book to hold my embossing folders. I've not got many at the moment. I've, I've literally got, what, eight, nine? I've got ten. But one of them is really square. And I don't want to make all the pockets this big because it will just be... So this one I'll find somewhere else to store it. Um, and I'm actually thinking I might make two. I think I might make one for small folders like these because I get I like to shop on AliExpress and that. Um, so yes, I've got these five. So I think I might make a small folder for those and a larger folder for these ones. I've got um, this me to you one. I've got this one. I don't know where that came from. I've got a Sheena one. Uh, I think that's Christmas one. And I've got a new one that I've just bought. And I don't know what I've done with it. Because that's always the way. And it's a Darice, um, a Darice one with uh, cherry blossoms on it. It's quite similar to that one, but it isn't that one. Ah, I'm so not prepared. I've got to put it down. That's what I've done. Anyway, it's not hugely, hugely important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few things that I've not done before. Um, this, this is going to be my covers. I'm just going to try and clear some space because, you know, <laughs> I haven't got any space. Oh, dear. Oh, what have I done with that one? Shit. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the cereal boxes as my covers. And I'm going to use my Zutta Bind It All machine to make a coil bound I got the idea off of Genevieve and basically what she did was she used um she used uh a, is it Avery L pockets well I, I don't have those so what I'm going to use is Jesus Christ I'll be organized one of these days I'm gonna use these yeah, the punch pockets that you buy for folders. Um, I don't know what you, you might call them somewhere else. I don't know what I've done with that embossing folder. I had it in my hands just now. Um, yeah, I don't know what you might call them. Right, so let's get rid of those ones because I've done my measurements, but I've done it for the bigger ones. So what I'm thinking is... Sorry about the noise in the background, Daryl's in bed and I've got the video monitor on. Um, this is the bottom of the wallet. So I'm thinking that I can just slide in, this is the closed edge, like so. And then I want to leave a certain amount that will accommodate the holes. I've already punched out and written myself a note. So I want to give myself imagine it in all the way there so it's going to be about there so I might actually be able to get two out it depends on whether I can close it if not I can always use these ones for the smaller pockets <laughs> Hi. Uh, you want to say hi and then go off to bed yes because you're supposed to be in bed hello hello it's time today mum's boo journey well it's how not mummy's doing something different today how you doing <laughs> You're so funny. Right, are you going to bed now? I've got to show them my tooth. Yeah, he's got a new tooth coming through, everybody. Yep. Oh my god, I can't believe I've lost that embossing folder. What? Right, go on, off you go. I've just I've dropped something. I don't know where it is. Right, go to bed then. Yeah. Sorry about that. Right. Good night, Good night, Good night, baby. I love you. I love you too. And it. <laughs> right. So this is this is my very recent. This is my most recent one. Um, and this is actually one of the smaller ones. So I've done my sizing for the smaller ones. I think. I 
I have to check my measurements now because I'm now questioning myself like you do. Is that one? Yeah, no, I have done it for the bigger ones. So we're going to work on the bigger ones first. And the idea is, I'm going to move my mouse out of the way. I've got inch thick coil, and I reckon I can put quite a few pockets on here. Because like I said, I've only got sort of four of these bigger ones. So I'm going to make a folder, but I'm going to make it with some extra, some spare pockets so that um, if I do buy any more, I've got somewhere to put them. And that's, that's, that's pretty much it for, for those ones. Um, yeah, the square one I've got, unfortunately, sticks out, you know, a good inch more. So I might make a bigger pocket just for the back of this, just for this one. Um, I don't mind it sticking out a little bit. It, be as messy as the rest of my stuff really so yeah so what we're going to do i'm going to do the pockets in a little while i'm going to concentrate on sorting out the covers oops so according to my little note i need to make my cover 14 and a half centimeters wide and 19 centimeters high now i've already cut my cereal boxes so that i can open them and um i'm just gonna go from there really i'm gonna high collapse it and put some music on and um yeah I'll, I'll even shut the me camera down so that you can you've got the whole screen okay um and i'm not in the way because i know that i don't pay attention too much when i'm not talking to you so yeah so i will see you when i next uh have something to say
Well. After all that, it didn't work. It totally, totally fucked up my pockets. Um, hang on, let me get this in focus for you guys. Oh, I should have tested this before even trying. Yeah. So that's that idea out right of the window. No, it just destroys it. Oh, fuck's sake. oh, I've just cut all those pockets up for nothing. I've just spent an hour and 25 minutes cutting up these pockets and they're now absolutely worthless. <sighs> Bloody hell. So I'm gonna have to come up with a different idea. because that means that my fucking the only the only way I can think of to do it is um to turn my face back on I don't even know how much that was even out of shot as well <laughs> sorry guys um yeah the only way I can think of to do it now is to get a pocket like this. Thankfully I bought loads and I can always get some more. And it'll work for the little ones, but it won't work for because the big ones. I'd have to see what I'm thinking is is if I you know they'll go in that way and I would still cut this part off they could go in like that so the top this part would be the loading section yeah right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut straight across here on a load of pockets which will give me my top loading pockets and then I'm going to sew down the middle and I'm going to sew them all together and then they will open like that yeah I'm going to make a book like that I'm so cross now because now I don't know how to fix them onto my book my covers that I spent all that time making and they look so freaking gorgeous as well oh do as well look at them a little bit gungy yeah I, I can't think now how to unless I glue them that's the only thing I can think of is that I glue front and the back one on like that so that it would sit like that positioned in the pocket so it would sit like that 
with the stitching there. That's the only thing I can think of to do now, really. So yeah, I'm gonna take a break and then I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I went away and I sewed this without coming online to tell you all that, uh, to tell you all that I was gonna do it. Um, yeah, what I did was I used paper clips basically to, to tie it all together um, so that it, would it was all straight <laughs> took me ages because it's this slippery as fuck and then what i did is i sewed up the middle here and then i sewed up the end but i left one where longer so that um i could fit that big square one in and i sewed that one up the end there and i've done that wrong haven't i because i should have done these one by one I've just realised. <sighs> oh my fucking god. So I'm going to unpick this down there. This should have been done individually. That's alright because that's your spine. So that flicks. But I should be able to flick it like that. And of course I can't because I've sewn them all together. So what I'm going to have to do is undo this and do it like this one. I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back okay so I now have it with a seam down the middle there and a seam at the end of each other basically I'm gonna cut this excess off on all pages except the last one which I've sewn to accommodate that big square one and I hope to fuck it fits after all that yeah it looks like it's gonna and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut straight across the top so that they are top loading pockets. Um, on most of them, I've actually finished the stitching. So that was sitting there, well, not in that one obviously, but it was sitting there like that. And the stitching is actually sort of finishing a good centimetre below. So I don't have to fiddle trying to get into each pocket, you know, so the top's just sort of sticking out. That's how I wanted it. Now, what I have done is um, because I didn't want to compromise the sheet by sewing backwards and forwards, I've just left these loose. Now, there is a clever trick, which I saw on video once. <laughs> Excuse me, hiccups. Um, if you get hold of your top thread and you pull it ever so slightly, you can see the loop from the bottom thread. And then a good thing to do is to get a pokey tool. And if you just catch a hold of one strand of that loop you can pull it through so that both threads are on the same side so I do that and then I just tie a little knot then you can cut it down nice and low it's not it I personally find back stitching looks messy to me it probably doesn't on you know it well it doesn't on fabric um, I know it doesn't look messy on fabric but you know I, I think it would on this cut it nice and close and then you you know you've got a nice neat sort of finish with just a tiny little knot so I'm going to do that top and bottom and um, yeah it doesn't actually take me too long to undo all of that it's uh, just a question of being careful and not ripping it because of it being plastic so yeah so i'm gonna get on to all of that and then we will finish it up so yeah back in a sec okay they are all trimmed trimmed and everything that was nerve-wracking so it should be now that each one oh, please work. <laughs> this is this is terrifying 
It's tight. That pocket is definitely tight, but it fits. Whew. So all you need to do now is trim down that edge, but not that one. So I'll hold that one out of the way. Okay, cool. Right, let's take these out. So I want these four. trick is um, I'm not very good with a cutter which is why I tend to mess up quite a bit um, the trick is when you're cutting through multiple bits of plastic like this is like it is when you're cutting through multiple pages just go slow go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and hold this tight hold it tight it can't fuck up and kill you now I'm gonna put my stitching this is a trim and scoreboard so I'm going to put my stitching line in the 1 8 score dip and then I'm going to wallop that down and hope that this works. Also with these you need to put it down with your blade already on top of your material or your paper otherwise it rucks it up as you slide. Once it's on you can then press down. and slowly work your way backwards and forwards. I've lifted that ever so slightly. Don't move the stuff that this side, move it from this side, okay? tell you how much you were successful in getting up. It's also worth checking that your blade isn't gunked as well. I had that issue with my sewing machine. It's another bit done. Users, do it with a pair of scissors. <laughs> it's scoring it, it's just not wanting to cut through that last little, and it is, it's just, I'm obviously just missing that bit each time. There's a smidgen there, and a smidgen there. Okay, so we should now have one page slightly longer, yes we do, to accommodate that big square and I really, really hope that fits because the other one was so freaking tight. This doesn't fit, I might cry. It fits, it fits, it fits, it fits, guys, it fits, woohoo! So there you go. And then it will fold like that. <laughs> it fits. That's that's a huge bonus. And then all you do is you um, grab all of your stencils. Where is that that Darrell want to get? It's not it. I've done it again. I've put it down. I've got to figure out how to stick these on yet. I'm glad I didn't put these through the bind it all thing. Oh yeah, the Darrell ones, one of the small ones. So what I'm thinking is, is that um, I could fit them all in here for now. 
you know. These ones are slightly tighter than these ones at the back. So I think what I might do is take these out of the tighter ones, which I know is a bit stupid as I've just put them in there, and put these ones in the slightly tighter pockets. I mean, they're really loose. I'm tempted, to be honest, to stitch them down and cut them, but I'm not going to because what will happen is later on, as um, as I get more folders, I could even back to back these just to give it a little bit more oomph, but yeah, as I get more folders, I will um, create a smaller book for these ones. So... these can stay in here like this for now just work like that so what I need to do is now figure out a way to attach the covers I'm, I'm seriously just thinking of gluing them you know So the spine's a little bit off, but okay. The reason I'm sort of uh about it is because um those covers for something else really couldn't I suppose I could just cut a piece of I might save these for something else and just cut some cardstock down and use that instead to to cover this and then just go over that line of stitching again which hopefully won't fucking rip the plastic yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I think that's what I'm gonna do and then just go over that line again I wish I thought of this before I finished it but yeah and then I will put the smaller ones in the front and the bigger ones in the back because the these pockets are just ever so slightly tighter than this pocket here but I was right to go about an eighth of an inch I might even trim that one down a bit later just to make it a bit neater so yeah I'll, uh, I'll do that and then I'll be back I should have cut the cover longer, which I suspect you were all like, oh my god, girl, what are you doing? I hope the spine doesn't fucking break, you know, but this will do, it's, it's, you know, this, I'll be honest, this is probably good, it's going to be temporary. So let's... Now, I've 
got the looser pockets in the front and the tighter pockets in the back. I don't even know how many pages I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one goes at the very back. So this is my this is the one that seems to be having the most trouble in the tighter pockets. If I can get this one in, then the rest is golden. Come on, shimmy shimmy, there we go. Because then this way the smaller ones are at the front. Do, 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 do. So this didn't turn out how I wanted. Um, I wanted, you know, um, well, I wanted a nice ring bound book, but hey. You know, we don't always get what we want, do we? I shall have to maybe invest in some of those because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure she used Genevieve, this is um, used those Avery L folders and I haven't bought them simply because I think they're a bit expensive, but um, that might be why <laughs> obviously able to withstand a bit of punishment I'm tempted to cut that pocket down I really am oh that's the issue I've got with that one it doesn't want to fold over So I'm gonna put it in a I'm gonna put it in a looser one. I may well have that issue with all of them though. This is a looser pocket. Just where this one is a bit tight. It's even tight in that pocket. Okay, so let's put it in the second to last one. That's not going to need to turn too much. Hopefully that'll be all right there. So yeah, it's tight. I'm not going to fill this with. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to fill this up with. Uh, larger ones all the way because it's just I haven't given myself enough room oh come on but that's fine because you know I've learned quite a bit doing this <laughs> believe it or not And it's always fun to try and hopefully you've learned from my mistakes you know you need to make your pockets wider because once you start stacking them they then don't you know obviously don't open and close so well which is you know that's absolutely fine I should have given myself a bit more spine than that. But like I said, this is only going to be temporary until I can come up with a better solution. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Uh, that's not too big. It's too big. I'm gonna need a way to 
hold it shut so this is an elastic off of one of my TMs I'll just have to tie a little bit tighter then won't I which is probably going to end up destroying the book completely because this isn't very thick um, cardboard but um, well there we go fuck I can't bother to fart around untying epoxy bit of elastic It will hold like that. Oops. I twisted it. Oh man. Don't. There you go. That will now hold shut. Okay. I can see this deteriorating rather quickly. But I don't use my embossing folders a huge amount. So this is absolutely fine. Um, I've learned quite a bit trying to make this or having a go at making this. Um, but hey, for now, I've got a little book with my embossing folders in. They're all in here. Just. <laughs> you know. I have learnt quite a bit. I'm going to save those covers and I am going to have a go at this again. I am also going to cut that down because that is going to annoy me otherwise. I'm going to do that now before I leave so that you can see it in the interest of full disclosure. So I'm going to find my trusty Sharpie. Really? down a little bit and then I'm just gonna draw a line like that hopefully my um, stitching now doesn't come undone because I went all the way up you see and tied it so there you go did you learn anything other than the fact that I should leave things like this to people who know what the fuck they're doing <laughs> I hope that this was helpful to everybody. Um, I hope that, you know, <laughs> you found this entertaining at the very, very least. I've got another video coming very, very soon on something else that I'm making. Oh, yes, that's much better. I've got this bit flapping around at the top now. There you go. Lovely. That's perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but you know. Um, yeah, so hopefully you uh, you you learn something um, <laughs> from this. You know, you, you, might, you might have learned something. I don't know. But um, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I had fun. So, yeah. Trying to get my, I, I, I made a pretty filter. And it's not working now. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god! It's a nightmare. Oh, how have I got two cameras of me then? Oh, because I got that one. There you go. <laughs> Clicked the wrong one when I turned it off. Yeah. So there we go. Um, I'm going to delete that all together because I only have the one cam again. What do you think? Do you like me butterflies? Aren't they pretty? I love them. Yeah. I really like them. <laughs> but there we go. How's that? Is that pretty? Do you like it? I love it. So that's sort of distracting from it a bit. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it took me fucking hours to figure out how to do this last night, but 
Yeah. So there you go. There's my um, there's my for now book. Um, eventually, I think I probably will order some Avery L envelopes because I've gone to all the trouble to make these absolutely fucking gorgeous covers. This was just wallpaper, by the way. I don't go out and buy my wallpaper here in the UK. Um, we're allowed to take swatches from home goods stores so you know so you can rip a bit off of an op they open a roll and you can go in and you can rip some off and bring it home and hold it up on your wall and go hmm, yes mm, mm, yes no, no i don't like that dear and um, i go in there i've got loads that i do um, i've got an absolute oh, goodness, that fucking great roll of all different colors um because every time i go in i go oh i'm just going to take a little bit of that and a little bit of that and, you know and I bring it home, so <laughs> and I don't bat an eyelid. So that is all that is. That is wallpaper on cereal boxes, for those of you that remember the very, very beginning. And um, it's quite robust. So yeah, I am gonna get some of those over your lemon because I'm pissed now that the, you know, that it didn't fit. And it would have looked so pretty, so so pretty. I measured it and everything. I really worked hard to get that to fucking fit. And it didn't. It was supposed to look like that with a coil around it. <sighs> oh well. So yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh God. This is what it's like to live in my head. Anyway, thank you so, so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed seeing Daryl um, four hours ago. <laughs> Yes, it was. It is now quarter past eleven, and he he went upstairs. It was about eight o'clock, I think, when I started filming. So yeah, about three hours ago. <laughs> yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing Daryl. Don't forget to leave this uh, thumbs up or a thumbs down, or um, you know, it's a shame it's not like Facebook and you can't laugh at it, isn't it really? I'd laugh at it. I would. I'd laugh at it. Um, anyway, yeah. Please feel free to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't mind. Also, you know, leave me a comment. Comment's good. Comment's good. I like interacting with everybody. If you've got something bad to say or if you think I should have some, done something differently. I mean, obviously, I know what I've done wrong here. I didn't give myself enough space. Um, you know, and I know all the things that I did do wrong, I think. But hey, what do you think I did wrong? Please tell me down below because then you might have a better idea than I did. Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't forget the kisses because Daryl loves the kisses you know that he does and I will see you next time uh, if you click the book down in the corner you will be subscribed and if you click the bell that then appears down below and select all you'll be notified when I upload new content of course you don't have to do that I don't do that I just click the bell and then and then it comes up thank you so so much for joining me today I really really do appreciate it and I will see you next time take it easy guys <laughs>